Last night, we had the Knicks, the first time in five years that wow. New York has beaten mm. the Clippers. That was amazing when I read that. Knicks are now 9-7, and seven, which is good, except they have played 11 of their 16 games at home, so you got to wonder a bit, is the Knicks 9-7 and seven start real or fool's gold? What do you got? Well, okay, 16 games is it's real, but it's not a sample size big enough. Sure. Um, typically, again, December 15th, which is when trade season opens, that's when teams evaluate their, their rosters. That's in about three weeks. At that point, the Knicks will have played about 25 games. And while I'm not ready to sit here and say, yes, this is a legitimate playoff team, here they come, I will say this. I didn't think we'd be talking about them at this point in November. And if we're still having this conversation <laughs> in December, and they're still above 500 and right in that race, you get to 25 games, that's relevant. Knicks fans would have taken this at any point in the season, having a conversation of, are the Knicks for real? <laughs> They'll take that any point in the season. So right now, Woo, that's just winner. one thing that can keep them happy. But I mean, if you look at the, the, the Eastern Conference and just kind of project and, and fill out the playoff standings, uh, it's filling up pretty quickly with sort of sure things, especially when you consider Detroit possibly be a sure thing, Milwaukee in there. But man, you look at this, you know, Chris F. Porzingis, the way he's scoring, not really having a really solid number two option behind him as a scorer. Uh, at Tim Hardaway Jr., eh, still, you know, to be determined on whether he can be that guy. Um, I do think that they have the makings of a 7-8 type of seed if they stay healthy and continue throughout the course of the season. But I do think they're kind of, you know, hitting their ceiling here. They're not going to really just keep going forward. Well, they're fun to watch. Well, all I hope for New York fans, they deserve a team that is fun for the whole season. Just no like suffering. That. We'll have to see where that leads them.